What's up, guys? It's your boy DJ coming at you in the morning. Uh, I'm back here in the back in my backyard here, uh, driving my RC four wheel drive 16 scale trail truck. Okay, this is the, actually the Glenda two with the uh, Land, Land Rover body, but I converted it. I bought this uh, this uh, this uh, um, hang on, I forgot the name of the thing. <laughs> I bought the Unimog body like a year or so ago off of uh, YouTube, I mean off of uh, <laughs> eBay, sorry guys, off of uh, off eBay, right? And I was like, man, I'm going to convert that sucker somehow and put that thing on that RC four-wheel drive chassis, you know? I figured it was about the same size, and it was, and uh, yeah, voila, there you go. It came out pretty good. It ain't perfect. It's not perfect as far as the fitment and everything, but it looks, it came out pretty good. I'm very impressed. It's got a driver figure in it and everything. It trails, believe it or not, with the Generation 2 transmission. It trails quite well. Um, initially, this is a Galindy 2 16th scale uh, trail truck, as I call it. The transmission that they originally had in there was terrible, you know? Torque was just just crazy weak, so I guess they got a lot of complaints from people. So they went back in and made another transmission. The bad part is it's plastic. The casing and everything is plastic, whereas the original was all metal. But you know uh, they had to do what they had to do. But anyway, they remade the transmission, sold it for about thirty bucks, twenty-five, thirty bucks, and uh, actually trails quite well. The shocking thing is it does this well. It does as good as it does with this little bitty dinky motor in that thing. The motor is microscopic almost. <laughs> so whatever they did as far as the gearing, they geared it really well. I mean, it climbs like you wouldn't believe for that little bitty motor. And that's that, this trail truck here is all metal, man. That's the cool thing about it. The axles are all metal. Every, the wheels, metal wheels. Uh, gearing, of course, is all metal. It's awesome. So this is like one of my favorite trail trucks. Uh, and at that time, I got it for a really good price. I paid maybe 140 bucks for it, 130 bucks, because I had coupons and stuff. So I got it quite cheap from Tower Hobbies. And uh, like I said again, what's so cool is it's all metal. How cool is that, right? So I'm driving an all metal trail truck. Yep, 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 yep. I think it's pretty dope. Now the downsides to this truck, not terrible, but it, the steering radius could be a bit tighter. I think I got you on the film. Yeah. The steering radius could be better. It would be nice. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever go back and modify and make it better or not. That way you can turn sharper. For those of you who do like to get into rock crawling or whatever else, I'm more of a trail guy. I'm more into uh, uh, trail riding and stuff, as you can see. I'm driving with one hand, too, so if I get off focus sometimes with the camera, sorry. But uh, anyway, see, this is how I'm driving it, like that. One hand, baby. That is how I'm driving this little trail truck. Yeah, but it does, I mean, um, it's fun to drive because it's, it's so realistic, you know. And that Unimog body I got, I got really lucky on that. I paid maybe 25 bucks for it. And what it was, it was a fully scaled out uh, static model, you know, Unimog. It had, uh, it was like a fire tr truck or something like that. I still got all the parts. I'm not done with it. This is an unfinished Unimog, by the way. I still have yet to go back and put the parts on the back and see exactly how I'm going to do it. So, uh, you know, uh, you can give you guys a closer up look, a view of it, of the Unimog. Here you see Turn it around a bit so you can see the driver figure, which is really dope. So, yeah, it's not complete. The Unimog is not complete at all yet. I'm trying to see how it, Okay, there you go. You can see the driver figure in there. Pretty dope, though, man. I really like it. Uh, and that's the Unimog uh, body that I wanted anyway. So, I got real lucky on this one. I was lucky enough to make it fit. Uh, I'm not very skilled at matching bodies with. Uh, chassis and stuff but this one came out pretty good this is like one of my favorites and uh, I got this thing for Unimog I think they're really cool vehicles they're agricultural vehicles actually in real life they're not really 
desire for trail trucks, although people take them off road for that. I just like them because they're pretty much like a tank. And they're real, they're, believe it or not, they're quite small. Uh, when I lived in Florida, I had the privilege to actually see a Unimog uh, up close and personal. I mean, I was able to go up and touch it. They had a, this company, they had it parked for some reason as like a display unit on their property. So I was, uh, after work, I'd go over there and check it out. And it was quite awesome. Quite awesome to see, but it's really short and stocky. So yeah, that's a Unimog for you guys. I'm shooting this time, the video this time with my little uh, Canon camcorder, so I'm able to actually have it be a little longer, maybe a bit even better than what you guys are used to seeing my videos being done on my phone. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. I'm getting around pretty good for a one-hand driver, right? You can see it trails really well. Now the down, now the thing about that little motor is this: even though they have it geared well, you know, if you're on the dirt, you're pretty much safe. If you try to go through a lot of resistance, like, uh oh, that was my fault. That's not the mog's fault. I'm driving one hand. If you try to go through like a lot of thick grass or something like that, yeah, you're gonna overheat the motor. But if you just keep it to the dirt, keep it to the dirt, baby, and you should be all right. Let me see if I can get around this track a bit with my one thumb, driving with one thumb. Let's see. I'm gonna go nice and slow. Guys, I'm gonna give you this Unimog. It's pretty dope. I think it's dope. Yeah. I think the low shots are what really make a video good. So there you go. I give you guys some low shots there. Just creeping around the track. Okay. Right here, a little turn action. Not bad for one hand, huh? He's got a little wheel feed to it too, believe it or not. All right now I'm ex exiting the major part of the track. All right. All right, going to the little testing ground area. Check this out. Look at that, man. This thing trails really well. Like I said, you have a little wheel through, too. Again, the track is unfinished. Not done. But you know what's ever finished. That's part of the fun. Always having something to do that's constructive and outside. So, I don't have to have it done today. Complete the track polish and everything. Just something to do, you know? Something to keep a person busy and occupied, have a little fun. You know, I put my I put my 50 hours in a week. You know, I pay my bills, so I'm, I feel I'm entitled to, uh, you know, have a little fun playing with my Model RC cars. I've been doing this stuff. I'm 52 years old, guys. Okay, I'm an old fart. Okay, I've been around a while. I've been doing this stuff since I was uh, RC since I was like nine years old. Eight or nine years old. I had a fascination for radio control vehicles. I still do. Just now that they're more, way more advanced with the battery technology and everything. Way more advanced than what they were. So, uh, you know, of course, you can have a little bit more fun. I'm more into scale trucks than anything. <laughs> Why? I like to see a vehicle act like the vehicle is supposed to as opposed to going 80 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour in a little small vehicle. Although I do, I have had my fast cars. I do, I do know how to make them fast, so speed is not an issue at all. I do know how to do that. But right now, not just right now, I've always been into still trail trucking before. Most of you guys even knew what a trail truck was before some of you were even born. <laughs> this is about 20 years ago. I had a Tamiya Hummer. And I was trailing around the neighborhood back then. Not going fast, just driving slow, trying to make it look as real as possible. You know? And that, to me, that's the fun in RC is when you drive a vehicle and make it perform 
like it's supposed to perform. Here, let me get down low for this shot with the Unimog so you guys can kind of see. Coming up and over. I'm doing this with one hand now, guys, so. Could be better, but. Ah, uh, maybe you're gonna tip, no? Look at that, pretty cool, huh? And you probably won't see another one of these. I don't know who makes this body, but it is a plastic cab, the Unimog body. It's plastic, but it's awesome. I think it's absolutely fantastic. You guys can see I made that turn, even though with the wide angle turning with this truck, you can still have a good time trailing. You know, it didn't turn the sharpest, but you know, it's fine when you're outside. It's fine when you're outside. You can see the Unimog just ran over those tree roots or whatever, that, whatever those are sticking up. And another good thing about this little truck here is, uh, hang on a second, my hand's giving me a little bit of problems. A little bit of problems, maybe carpal tunnel, I don't know. But uh, yeah, give me a little bit of problems when I have to stop for a second. But anyway, uh, let me back it up. This truck does really well for uh, considering it doesn't have the sharpest turning angle, steering angle. It doesn't have the Ackerman steering, I wish it did. <laughs> but that's okay. Still have You can still have a lot of fun in open spaces where your turning radiuses aren't as tight. You can still have a good time trailing with this truck, the RC four-wheel drive, uh, Galindi 16 scale truck. Now let me tell you something, this, I've had two other RC four-wheel drive trail trucks, okay? I've had a Trail Finder 2, okay, and the other one, the Landy, that looks like a Land Cruiser kind of, I forgot what you call it exactly, I've had that one, I've had that one. And let me tell you something, those trucks there, they've got their good, uh, they got good quality soon, but they got some that are really bad that I found out. I don't know why people keep on giving these guys all these kudos instead of telling them like it is, you know, with some of their uh, engineering with that truck, you know. I had on the, uh, which one was it? The Land Rover looking truck, Glendy 2, whatever you call it. G Land 2, I can't remember the exact name. I got videos of it and stuff. The shocks, the aluminum shocks actually came apart. I was driving the truck and the shocks came apart on the truck. I couldn't believe it. I paid, at that time, 500 bucks for that truck. Put it together and everything else, you know. And the shocks came apart. I could, I mean, I was driving it. I mean, right in the middle. So, you know, their trucks look good, but I do not trust their component tree as far as the, the drivetrain components. And then on the uh, uh, Trail Finder 2, the dog bone, one of the dog bones sheared off like a pencil, like pencil lid. I could not believe it. You know, the dog bones that actually turns the wheel. And not just me, but my buddy had the same truck. His did the exact same thing. So they were using and are using inferior metals in their drive components, which is crazy. I couldn't believe it. So that's two of their trucks that I had major issues with, you know. So what I did was I uh, got rid of them. You know, I can only deal with so much. Now, when I saw this thing, I, I was so impressed by the way it looked, you know. And it wasn't, it wasn't $500, a couple hundred dollars or whatever else. I was like, I'll give him one more try. And this was the last RC four-wheel drive truck I bought. And this one has turned out to be the best for me. You know, I haven't had any sheared off component tree yet. You know, like the drive shafts and things. I haven't had any problems so far. And then again, I haven't taken it apart to see. <laughs> so I'm going to do some inspecting. I'm going to have to do that, inspect it, and see how it is doing as far as the drivetrain components are concerned, but right now it's doing great. I mean, this has literally turned out to be the best RC four-wheel drive truck I've ever had, so far. I've had it over a year, about a year and a half. I don't drive it as much as I should, but I do drive it, I do drive it. As you can see, I like it a lot. I'm into, especially since I got my Unimog body on it. But I would tell anybody, as far as all the mini and micro trail trucks out there, you bang for the buck. This is the baddest one out there, man. Period. Uh, I think. Even over the new Mini Z, and I, I recently got one of those, the Mini Z 4x4. You know. Now, as far as, uh, 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 well, just the overall, I mean, you got a full metal chassis, guys. This thing is awesome. Even the shocks are metal. You know. Super scale. You know. It's, all, it's, it's actually awesome. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know anybody that's going to give you this much in a, in a trail truck, you know. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let me see if I can get out of this. Okay. Yeah, this video's kind of long, but I'm just rambling on about this truck here. It does really good, man. I'm so impressed with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see. I picked, I picked up some brush or whatever. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Okay, I got rid of it. I like the low shots. You guys can really see the, the articulation work and stuff. No, it doesn't have oil shocks, believe it or not. You may want to add some grease or something to the shocks. Just slow them down a little bit, but it does, still does good. Why they didn't make these shocks oil shocks, I will never know. It'd been so awesome. So, but anyway, this truck is totally off the chain. Uh, again, this is my Unimog body. I found this Unimog body on eBay. Paid like 20 something dollars for it. It just happened to fit quite well. Uh, I get very little fender rub, just a little bit of fender rub on the uh, front tire. You can see it right there when I turn it. It barely touches it, not enough to cause any problem. So I got I got real lucky with this with this body because I, I wanted a, a hardcore Unimog, a four-wheel drive Unimog for the longest. I do have a, the MST Unimog, which is awesome. You guys can go back and see my videos on my channel. You will see the MST Unimog if you look, go back far enough. That thing is a beast. I painted it, and it's, it still uh, runs great to this day. I call it my U4 Unimog. So right now I have two RC Unimogs, which are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, but this right here, guys, this RC four-wheel drive uh, truck is, is, is the bomb. Right now they are going for about $219 at Tower Hobbies. They're worth, I think it's worth every dime, guys. I haven't had any problems. And what's cool too, uh, also too, is uh, you get the modular, you know, your electronics. This thing takes standard electronics. So if you have any problems with the stock electronics, you can upgrade them. Your speed controller and everything. Like I, you know, um, I didn't upgrade mine yet. I haven't had the need to. But yeah, you can do that. So this is something for you to think about. What else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, this video is 17 minutes long so far. Again, I'm just trailing, flapping my gums. <laughs> Talking about trail trucks, and I've had quite a few from the uh, Traxxas TRX4. I had two of those. Had something come up with this, a Honda scooter I wanted to get, so I, I ended up selling those to get some Honda vehicles. And I didn't want to get rid of them, guys, trust me. You know, but sometimes when you don't have the cash, you just go out and buy everything that you see, and I don't. <laughs> you have to give up something else you like to get it. So that's what I did. That's what I did. And this Unimog is off the chain, guys. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. So there you go. RC four-wheel drive, blended to 16 scale. 16 scale, I might add. <laughs> uh, it's actually the Land Rover Defender, but I converted it. I put a Unimog body on there instead, and I love it, like it much more. It just ha I got really lucky on that one, guys. It just happened to work out. Let's see if I can get through here. Again, this is my own personal track, and in the backyard, I have to go nowhere, and I like that. I like the fact that I don't have to go anywhere to go trailing. I utilize the whole backyard. You see, I've got quite a bit of space back here. You know, I can trail along the side of the uh, fence there. I even got this right here, guys. Check this out. I got gravel around the shed. All right, I even drive around the shed and use that as a passageway. <laughs> To drive these trail, to drive this trail truck on, and others. Other, I got other Michaels. I have the uh, Orlando Hunter, a uh, little bitty Jeep. So, as you can imagine, this track is huge for that little Orlando Hunter Jeep. So, I also drive it back here. So, yep, whoop, there it is. All right, I'm gonna end the video in a minute. I'm gonna bring in the Unimog. Some of you who like Unimogs may get a kick out of this video. Some of you are probably bored to death. I understand. That's cool. I'm not going for ratings or anything anyway. <laughs> Actually, I make a lot of videos for myself. I just archive them on YouTube. I go back and watch them later. I think it's a great place to archive videos. Yep, yeah, boy. There it is. Whoop, there it is. As you can see, nothing pretty much stopped it. This thing did a great job trailing. All right. And that is the end of the video for today. I'll let you guys later. Peace.